you today? How are you today? I'm Both Reviews Lady, and uh, I thought what I would share with you today is I was opening this old Christian Dior bag I've had for a long time, and uh, inside was a whole bunch of my ancient vintage makeup from like the 80s and 90s. Some of it from when I used to work behind the counter because I keep a lot of stuff. I'm kind of, what do they call it? A hoarder, a pack rat? I think I think, I think I might be that. But uh, good thing I did because now there's some people who might want to see that old stuff. And guess what? It's you. So I'm going to be doing a close up so you can see this stuff more close up. But I thought I'd do an intro video so you can get an idea of what to expect. Hey, 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 how you doing? So this is a bag of ancient makeup that I had from the 80s and 90s when I, mostly when I worked in, in cosmetics and fragrance in this cute Christian Dior bag here. And I'm just gonna pull items out of it and just talk about them as I go. Number one, Christian Dior lipstick. This would have been one that we had in like a gift of purchase or something. Uh, Pink Pepper, I used a lot of this. Well, I didn't use this one up though. And you know what? No, this one does not still smell good. There was one that I opened that does still smell good. But Christian Dior lipsticks used to have so many nice, uh, sorry, they used to have really nice fragrance in their lipsticks, but that's Christian Dior. This was from when I worked for Christian Dior in the late 90s or the mid 90s, the late 90s, I think. This is a Elizabeth Arden lipstick called Peach Petal Luxury Lip Sheer. Look how pretty that is. Pretty container. And you see, I, I really liked this one. So much so that I still have it, but I never use this stuff anymore. It's really, really old and I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't recommend it uh, holding onto this stuff. Sorry, the desk is a little bit dirty looking, but here's something fun. There used to be this company <clears throat> called Stendhal um, and I got this, would have gotten this in the late 80s when I worked behind the counter in cosmetics. I don't remember why I have this. I never worked for this company, um, but I do have it and it's pretty cool. The stuff still looks amazing. This was a Christian Dior, um, eyeshadow compact called Woodwork and I got this uh, a lot of times when you work for a cosmetic company, you get to go to their seminars uh, to learn about their products. It's called a school. They used to call it a school. This one is, you can see how much I loved it. I mean, I guess I didn't really use this one and that one, but the other ones I did, and man, these were fantastic. They were long wearing. They had like, um, like they're so light. They're so, it's, this is still so soft. They're so finely milled. It was a really high quality product. I really don't know how they are today because I haven't used any Christian Dior eyeshadows in a while, but that was one. Still so soft and nice. Okay, this guy, I absolutely love these. Do you ever go um, traveling internationally and in the duty-free? They have a lot of times this kind of thing on offer these guys where you can like, you know, you got everything. And I'm sure that here was a, a brush or a, you know, a little um, powder appli applicator. And it doesn't look like I use these that much, but I really did. I love it when they have a powder and a blush and eyeshadows and lip liner and a mascara and lip color because that's everything you really, really need, you know, and they're so great. And these are these are usually very reasonably priced um, compared to the products if you buy them individually. So this was one of those that I got uh, from the Duty Free. Here's another Christian Dior item. Um, let's see, did I get this one? So I'm not sure if I got this when I worked behind the counter or if I got it afterwards, because I did continue to buy some Christian Dior after that. Um, but you know, of course, getting it for free is always the best. But this one, you know what I really, really love about these? I think maybe, I don't know if I bought this one. I might've bought this one, but you see, I really like the very dark and the very light. And this I loved so much because this was a, cake eyeliner you know cake eyeliner it's so useful um and 
Yeah, I love these. I mean, I really love, 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 love Christian Dior products. Here is another Dior lipstick. This would have been another one of the kind that we would have, they would have been a gift with purchase, slightly different container. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. Wait, was this one? I'm not sure. This one is called or Ballerina Orange. This was another color that I really liked. Used it quite a lot, as you see. Now, this one still has a little bit of that amazing, beautiful fragrance in it that I love that Christian Dior lipsticks had. And nowadays, they don't. Uh, but you know who does? Lancome. Lancome, there's one of their lipstick um, kinds that smells exactly like our Christian Dior lipsticks used to smell. Here's another Christian Dior item. What is this one? Oh, okay, this one I bought. Actually, I think this one came in a purchase with purchase that came with this bag, I think. And this also had, um, I think, another one like this that had um, eyeshadows in it. But this was really nice, you know, just a really nice set of three blushes. It was supposed to be sort of like a bron like a contour and the blusher and then the like kind of a highlighter, which, you know, highlighters weren't really such a thing back in the day. So that was unusual. Sorry about the weird lighting. Here is another Lancome um, coffret. This one is called Attraction Couleur. Do you ever get these? If you've ever had any of these, will you leave, will you let me know and let me know which ones you have because I'm always still on the lookout for these when I, I don't travel internationally very often anymore. I traveled internationally like, I don't know, like six years ago, so maybe, maybe a little longer than that. And uh, I didn't get one then, but I am the next time I travel internationally. So you can see, same idea. It doesn't look like I use these, but I'm telling you, I use the heck out of this stuff. Um, love these, you know, lipsticks, powder, blush, beautiful eyeshadows. See, now these feel nice, but they do not feel as smooth as uh, the Dior eyeshadows do. That's always been the way it is. Even though I do love Lancome, Okay, what's this one? Oh, okay, this was just Christian Dior. <laughs> kind of icky to save this kind of... This is a Christian Dior um, uh, highlighter, under eye highlighter, basically. There's still, it feels like there's still lots in there. And I use this forever. Still some left, amazing. Um, oh, wow, oh my goodness. Borghese lip color. Borghese, we sold... Um, I didn't sell it, but at one of the stores I worked at, we did. So I bought some Borghese from there. I'm telling you, this lipstick... This, I used the heck out of this because when I used to uh, work a lot and worked as a performer as well as a singer, this this lipstick would stay on my lips on stage, you know? I mean, it was like, it was fantastic. Okay, so this one was called, I believe this was called, oh, this is called Bassano Ruby. Yeah, and th this, is, this is metal. It's not plastic. It's like such high quality. Love it, love it. Ah, a Christian Dior nail color for when I worked for Christian Dior. Let's see. This one is called Holiday Red. I cannot open it. I do not know if there's anything in there still, but... Another Borghese lip color. This was the another one that I used to wear all the time. And I repurchased and... Uh, anyways, yeah, I liked this one even better. What was this one called? I don't know what this one was called. There's no name left on it. But again, really nice high quality. Here's another Christian Dior item. Okay, this is not for individual sale. So this probably came with my, uh, yeah. So this came with this and the little, the blush that I just showed you, same idea. Again, doesn't look like I used much, but I sure did. Another really nice one. What's this one called? No name on it, but another really good one. Ah, remember this craze, y'all. Remember this? The, the MAC bronzer. Oh my gosh, didn't we all use this? And you see I used the heck out of it. I did, but there's still some left. I don't remember what color this was, but this was the one we all used. If you were there, I bet you had one of these. 
Okay, this is from Ultima 2. This is nail color from Ultima 2, my very first cosmetic job. It is from that era. Uh, that's when I would have gotten it, and I don't know the name of this, but Advanced Formula Nail Color from Refs, from Ultima 2, from, which is Revlon, you know, upscale Revlon. Now they, now it's still sold, but uh, I think they only sell it in Korea. Okay, now here's something you're gonna think I'm weird, but when I worked for Christian Dior, you know how you have tester units. Tester units, right? So when I worked for Christian Dior, we had a tester unit that came in and it was not used. It ended up getting like put away with uh, and when the new tester unit came out, but the old tester unit was not used. So this one, I feel like you can't really see it. I'm sorry about the lighting. So I kept these because they weren't used and I ended up using them and I use these a lot. They're so unusual, especially this one, which is so neat. It's four different colors of white, really. Four, and so they're like highlighters. So I don't know if you can see them on my fingers, but but so this, this was a really amazing for me to have. And I feel like this, these are real, real collector's items. And I also kept um, other tester units, um, I think from Ultima 2 and from Christian Dior. I kept the whole tester unit because when they're done with the tester unit, they throw it away. And, um, you know, most of them got used and I did not uh, use them myself after that. But, um, yeah, I ended up throwing them all away because I... It was before YouTube, and I was like, no one's going to care anyways. Okay, I don't need that. What else is in here that you'll find interesting? Aha, Chanel. Okay. Here's a, another mini Dior lip, uh, nail color. This would have been uh, probably a gift with purchase or purchase with purchase. Here's a Chanel lip gloss called Gloss Glossimer in number 23, Pulsar. Oh, yeah. Smells nasty. <laughs> you know. I would never and I would never use any of this stuff again. I am I will never ever use any of this again unless it's some kind of special video where I want to show people. Oh, it's an empty bottle of Cristal. Goodness sakes. This is an ancient Revlon lip color. This one, Apricot. Apricot Fantasy. Apricot Fantasy. Obviously, I used it a lot, liked it a lot. An Elizabeth Arden eyeliner. I remember, man, I was so excited to get this. Uh-oh. I was so excited to get this, this like blue color. Because you know, pencils, pencils were kind of expensive compared to other things. So it was great to get lots of pencils. And one more, a little Chanel lipstick called Tornado. Of course, this would have been a gift with purchase. Look, I guess I didn't like it. I didn't use it very much. So, oh, do I have one more? One more Dior lipstick? Yes, this is one more Dior lipstick. And this one is called Tibet. Is this the one that still smells good? Yes, oh my gosh, this still smells great. This smells the way that um, uh, Lancome lipsticks smell now, or some of them, I don't know, it might be only one formulation, but yeah, so. So that's it, my vintage classic makeup from the 80s and 90s that I have kept all this time. <laughs> and um, yeah, like I said, I wish that I had kept those tester units now. Like I said, I wish I had kept those tester units now so I could show you them. But there it is, and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, will ya? Thanks a lot, see you later. So thank you so much for joining me for this video about my vintage makeup and stuff. No, I don't take. Mm -mm. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da.
do 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 Hey! Okay, if you like this content, please subscribe, give it a like, I appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye! Don't forget to dance!